Here are the house phones, Mary. Uh-huh. This won't take but a minute. Well, it'll take less time than that if Roger Harrison isn't registered here yet. Are you sure he is, Blackie? Positive. Yes? Yeah. Give me Roger Harrison's room number, will you, please? I'm sorry to get the rules of the hotel to give out room numbers. I'll bring him for you, though. Oh, that'll do. One moment, please. Trouble, Blackie? No, I forgot a hotel doesn't give out room numbers. Oh, I think. You know, a hotel is a good place for a guy to hide if he sticks to his room. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It'd be impossible to find a guy's room number if he didn't want you to know it. That's right. Hello. Uh, Mr. Harrison, Roger Harrison? Yes? Yeah, this is Boston Blackie, Mr. Harrison. Charlie Kingston probably told you that oh, I'd yes. be... Oh, co- Uh, you're going to look over the plans for my new invention? That's what I'm supposed to do. Oh, uh, when do you want to see me? Could you come up, uh, say, in 30 minutes? Yes. Make a long-distance phone call first. All right. I'll be up in 30 minutes. That's fine. What's your room number? Uh, 909, hmm. but Blackie... Uh-huh. Don't repeat my room number to anyone. I don't want anyone to know what room I'm in. Nobody knows except you. These plans I have are worth killing for, and I don't want to be the one who's killed for them. Now back to Dick Calmer as Boston Blackie. Enemy to those who make him an enemy. Friend to those who have no friends. <laughs> Here you are, sir. The Thank flowers you. are 220. You gave me five. That's 220, three, four, five. Thank right. you. Call again. Yeah. Now, what can I do for you, madam? Uh, do you deliver flowers to the hotel the next block, direct? Oh, yes. Not to the room, of course, but to the hotel. The hotel's delivery men take care of it after that. Oh, that's all right. Uh, what kind of flower do you want? Well, I'm not sure yet. I think I'd rather have a plant. We have some very lovely plants. Something bright, perhaps? Any particular color? No, no, the color doesn't matter. Um, a flowering plant or just a leafy plant? I'm trying to decide. Uh, this one here is rather nice. Yeah, but it's not exactly what I want. Well, if you aren't particular how much you pay... No, there's... no, the cost doesn't matter. The cost isn't too high, of course. Well, then, um, uh, how about this rubber plant? Um, yeah. Yeah, I think that'll do. Very well, madam. Kind of a funny-looking thing, isn't it? Oh, most unusual, madam. Most unusual. Well, I want it for a most unusual reason. Operator. Operator, you still there? Yes, Mr. Harrison. You sure no one has tried to get my room number from you? No, Mr. Harrison. No one's after your room number. And we wouldn't give it even if somebody did ask. Oh, that's fine. the rules of the hotel. Well, you see that you stick to those rules. Let me know if anyone asks for my room number. Yes, sir. Nobody has up until now? Just. Oh, that was Boston Blackie. That was all right. Uh, just a minute. I think there's someone at the door. Yes, Mr. Harrison. No. Oh, no. Oh! oh. Mr. Harrison. Mr. Harrison. Mr. Harrison. What did you come over to my apartment for, Jack? To sit there and stare at me or talk? You know why I'm here. No. You messed me up with old man Harrison. I messed you up. You did it yourself. Bill, I'm Harrison's chief assistant. Now you're trying to get me out, and I won't stand for it. Well, can I help it if I'm smarter than you are? You're not smarter. You're just a better conniver. Now, look, you. One more crack like that. You won't do anything, Bill. No? Well, the one for Sarah. Sarah, huh? Yeah. I was waiting for you to bring my wife into this. She's all you can think about, isn't she? Somebody has to be nice to your wife. You certainly are. How I treat Sarah is my own affair, not yours. Well, maybe I ought to make it mine. And maybe I ought to take you apart. You're welcome to try. Thanks. That's all I wanted to know. Well, isn't this too bad? I think I broke up your table. Get up, Bill. I'm not finished with you. Leave me alone. Uh, with pleasure. But, Bill, you better keep out of my life. And Sarah's, or I'll be back. Uh, Bill, badly hurt. I don't know yet, Sarah. Can't even figure out where I hurt. Here, let me help you up, darling. Uh, thanks. Yeah. Funny, is it? I'm not laughing. A guy knocks me down, and his wife picks me up. We'll get even with him for doing this to you, Bill. We'll get even, did you say? That's what I said. Don't you think we've already done just that? There's room 909 right down there, Mary. Hmm. 
if I hadn't been with the brilliant Boston Blackie, I might never have found it. Unless I looked at the number on the door. Well, according to Harrison, he wouldn't have wanted you to find it. Uh-oh. You or anybody else. What kind of a person is he, Blackie? One of those people who's afraid of his own shadow? I don't know. I've never met him. But we're both about to meet him now. I bet you the most expensive dinner in town, you won't like his invention. Now, what do you say that? What's the difference? I'm hungry, and I don't care who pays for dinner as long as I... <clears throat> well, what do you want? Uh, Blackie. Faraday. Well, I certainly don't want you. Hello, Inspector. What are you inspecting today? The usual thing, Miss Wesley. And Blackie, I don't want any help from you. I haven't even offered you any help. Who's dead? Who did you come to see? It's not who, it's whom. Oh, whom? whom? <laughs> What's the difference? If Roger Harrison's the guy you came to see, the whom is dead. Harrison's dead, huh? Well, maybe you'd better wait out here, Mary. No, no. If I don't stick with you, I won't see you till this case is solved. I'm coming in, too. Maybe I shouldn't let either one of you come in here. Oh, no, Inspector. Blackie, how did you find Harrison's room? The hotel said his room number wasn't given out. And even he didn't tell his room number to anyone. He gave it to me Friday because I had business with him. To do what? Shoot him? Oh, oh. no, no. What I came to see him about isn't important now. What is important is how anyone found his room number. How was it done? How? Now don't ask me. Tell me. If I could tell you that, I could tell you who killed him. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. I think I know why he was killed, though, Paris. Yeah, I do, too. The, for plans for his invention. Be quiet, Miss Wesley. Oh. Well, what she says is probably true, Faraday. But the big question is, Harrison didn't give out his room number. The hotel didn't. So how, how did, did the killer, killer find Harrison's, Harrison's room, room number? Well, while you two get into another chorus of that, I think I'll look around. Stay where you are, Miss Wesley. Nothing in this room is to be touched. No, Mary, you better not. Hey, wait a minute. Hmm? Do you know anything about that plant over there, Faraday? I know it's a rubber plant. But how did it get up here? It bounced up. How do you think it got here? <laughs> a bellboy from the hotel delivered it. I checked on him. He's 100% okay. Yes, he probably is. But if I can find the florist who sold that rubber plant, I'll show you how the man who found Harrison with a bullet first found his victim's room. Jack, where have you been all afternoon? Is it any of your business? Yes, it is. What are you, a timekeeper or a what? You need some kind of a keeper. You seem to think I do, sir. Where were you this afternoon? Now your business. My, what a temper you have, darling. Oh, more than a vase at you the next time you give me that kind of an answer. I won't miss either. Now, where were you? Does it matter? Yes, it matters. I was minding my own business. Why don't you mind yours? Jack, I warned it you. It won't do you any good to throw things. Now put that poker down. I'll put it down across that thick skull of yours. My skull isn't so thick. A few things don't penetrate it, darling. A few things you think I don't know about. Like what? Would you like to hear what I know about you and Bill Williams, for instance? I don't want to hear anything from you. Can you stay where you are? Can you take one more step for me? You won't me? do anything, Sarah, because I'm going to beat you to it. You're not going to touch me. Now, keep away Put from me. Put that poker down. I'll put it down across your head. Give me that poker, Sarah. Give it to me. All right, I'll give it to you. You missed me, darling. How lucky I did. Now, leave me alone. Oh, no. I'm going to hang around here. I'll decide what to do about you first thing in the morning. If it's something I don't like, it'll be the last thing you ever do. Here's the florist shop nearest the hotel, Faraday. I see. Let's try this one for you. You've already tried something first. My patience. <laughs> what do we do if the plant wasn't bought here, Blackie? Sing who'll buy my violets? Maybe. You can leave any time, Faraday. Mary and I can handle this. Oh, sure. Uh, goodbye, Inspector. Uh, who's leaving? <laughs> I still don't see how the killer used a rubber plant to find Harrison's room number. Very simple, Inspector. You like simple things, don't you? I must. I like you. Inspector, how you talk. <laughs> but to get back to the killer and the plant. Yeah, get back. The killer knew what hotel Harrison was in, sent him in an odd-shaped plant, then followed the bellboy to see what room it was delivered to. Simple? Yeah, simple. Well, let's go in the shop and find out who bought that plant. I think Blackie's right. But, um, the plant might not have been bought at this shop. I think it was, Mary. For only a block from the hotel, and the killer would have wanted to make sure he got to Harrison's hotel before the plant did. There's a clerk there at the counter. So there is, Barney. You amaze me. <laughs> Something I can do for you, gentlemen? You can tell us something, but... Yes, um, sir. Please don't say it with flowers. Oh, Blackie. Why, I don't understand, sir. I'm sorry. All I want is some information. Oh, yes. Was right. a rubber plant bought here this afternoon and sent to Roger Harrison at the hotel down the street? Why, yes, it was. Mr. Harrison should have received it shortly after it was bought. Good. Now, could you describe the man who bought it? The, the man? Yes. Oh, it wasn't a man. It was a woman. A pretty blonde. What? Hmm? Oh, what's the matter? I... Uh, you looking at me? Well, certainly I am, young lady. It was you who bought the rubber plant. And now, back to Boston Blackie. Boston Blackie makes an appointment with Roger Harrison, who has a new invention. 
No one but Blackie knows Harrison's room number. When Blackie gets to Harrison's room, the man has been murdered. Blackie theorizes that the killer found his victim's room number by sending him an odd-shaped plant and following its delivery. He goes to the shop where the plant was bought, only to have the clerk identify Mary Wesley, Blackie's girlfriend, as the purchaser of the plant. As we return to our story, Faraday has done some excellent police work. And he and Blackie are in a police car. So you think you're on your way to question the killer, do you, Faraday? Just because you found out one of Harrison's assistants has a wife who looks like Mary. I know I'm on my way to question a killer. And you're on your way to see how I close a case. But fast. Yeah. Here's the address. Right here, Matthews. Right. What's this assistant's name? Uh, Jack Welch. He used to be Harrison's chief assistant until uh, another guy named Williams beat him out of the job. I'm having Williams check right now. Just for insurance. Wait here, Matthews. Yes. We'll be right out. Right out. And without a killer. I don't know which is worse, your jokes or your company. Well, the company I keep is worse, especially when I'm with you. Any time you'd like to leave, thank you. No, not right now, old pal. I want to see what happens here. You'll see. Apparently the florist sold that rubber plant to somebody who looked like Mary. Sure. Jack Welch has a wife who looks a little like Mary. We grab Welch and his wife. This case is over. Uh-huh. You just keep quiet. Let me do the talking. Not a word out of you, understand? Keep your mouth shut. Mm-hmm. No. Yep. She does look like Mary. She does look like a little. Yeah, she does. What are you two talking about? What do you want? I'm Faraday, homicide department. This is Boston Blackie. We want to talk to you and your husband. What about? You'll find out. Come in, Blackie. My husband's taking a shower right now. We'll wait. Oh, if I'd known you were coming, I'd have baked the cake. Mrs. Welch, you bought a plant and sent it to Roger Harrison this afternoon, didn't you? Yes, I did. That's all I wanted to know. When your husband gets out of the shower, you're coming with us. Why? You know why, all right. No, I don't. Well, you should tell me why you bought the plant. My husband insisted I buy it. It was your husband's idea to buy the plant and send it to Harrison? I said he told me to buy it. He even told me what kind of a plant to buy. Jack! Aren't you through with your shower yet? How long has he been in there, uh, Mrs. Welch? Well, he turned the water off just before you rang the bell, but then it went on again just after I opened the door. Faraday, I don't like this. I know what you mean. Where's the shower, Mrs. Welch? Through the bedroom there, that door on the right. That's the bathroom. Door. Come on, Blackie. Don't you leave this place, Mrs. Welch. Are you kidding? I got no place to go. The guy heard us at the door, got scared and scrammed. That's what you're thinking, Blackie? That's right. We'll see. This the bathroom door. Let's go in. Empty. Just what I thought. Just what who thought? All right, you. Now, Jack Welch took a shower and then scrammed. So it seems. Well, anyhow, if you ever do pick him up, Faraday, it's a sense you'll come clean. <laughs> It's always nice to know because it shows you're enjoying yourself. No, no, let's be serious for a minute. I know how the killer found Harrison's room, all right. Through the rubber plant? That's right. I know Mrs. Welch bought it. She admits it. But says her husband made her do it, so Faraday didn't arrest her. Mm. Especially after Jack Welch beat it when we came to pick him up. Faraday has an alarm out for him. Oh, well, sounds like he was the one in trouble. Uh, we are. Because even after Faraday picks him up, we still can't prove he killed Harrison. Just because his wife bought a rubber plant has no reason to... to... Uh-oh. You guessed it. I've got an idea. Let's suppose Jack Welch isn't guilty. We know the wife is in on it somehow. She did buy the plant. And Welch did run away. Oh, stop being so logical. Oh, sorry. Well, let's suppose Welch isn't guilty. His wife was in on the murder. There's no question about that. Now, maybe I know a way to prove who did do it. You're going to prove who did the killing, and you don't know whom you're going to prove murder again? Uh, maybe if I'm lucky. And if I can find this Williams individual Faraday told me about. Williams? He worked with Welch. Oh. If I can locate him, which shouldn't be difficult, and if I can imitate an old man... Which shouldn't be difficult. Mary. Oh, I mean, you can imitate almost anybody, Blackie. <laughs> I hope that's what you meant. <laughs> Anyhow, if I can do those two things, maybe I can do the one thing that I want. Prove who killed Roger Harrison. Who is it? Jack. Jack Welch. Open the door, Bill. Sure, just a minute. Come in, kid. Thanks, Bill. Thanks a lot. You and I have had our battles, but you're proving yourself a real friend. No one followed you here, huh? No, I was careful about that. No one will think of looking for me here. Thanks a lot for offering to let me hide here, Bill. Oh, I'm glad to do it. 
I nearly fell over when you phoned a while ago and said the police were after you. What for? Killing Harrison. Killing Har... Oh, <laughs> you can talk you out of that, Jack. Well, I doubt it. That's why I beat it out of the house when Boston Blackie and Inspector Faraday came to question me. What my wife told them could hang me. Bill, I don't have an alibi. No? Well, uh, where were you when Harrison was killed? Walking in the park, alone. Oh, great, great. I guess that's where you've been since you left home, huh? No, I was in a movie on the other side of town. That's why it took me over half an hour to get here. I was wondering why it took you so long. I was afraid the police had picked you up. Bill, where can I hide? Oh, you won't have to hide. Just stay where you are. Who is it? Faraday of Homicide. What? You sent for me, Williams. The police. You sent for them. Billy, you double trust. I'm getting out of here. Are you not? Let go of me. Let go. Come on, Inspector. I can't yeah. hold this guy forever. Come in. All right, well, get him up high. Goodbye. Now, look, Inspector. This is a mistake. I didn't kill Harrison. I don't know why my wife told you I made her buy that plant, but I didn't. I'm innocent. I know, I know. Yeah. You're going downtown with me, Wells. No, let me... According to what you say, everything in this case is a plant. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder what it would be like to go around with a normal person. I hope you never find out. Well, even that clerk in his costume shop wondered what you want with a, a messenger's uniform and a set of whiskers. Well, he went into the stock room to get them, so let him wonder. I have a plan, Mary. Yeah. I'm going to deliver something that may deliver Harrison's killer. Well, why do you have to deliver it in messenger's uniform and um, false whiskers? Because it would take me too long to grow a set of whiskers naturally. Oh. <laughs> My idea is this, Mary. Jack Welch is being framed, and I think his wife is framing him. Some wife. She thinks Jack is some husband. Oh? She wants to get rid of him, I'm sure. And I think the reason is Williams, the fellow who works with her husband, so she framed her husband. Are you going to prove that? Well, I'm going to try. She's not at home. She's moved out, Faraday says. Oh. But I think I know how I can find it. You think you know how to do a lot of things this evening. This I know I can do, Mary. Faraday has a man watching Bill Williams. Faraday's not too sure Welch is guilty, you know. Oh, so you're going to put on your messenger suit and phony whiskers and, and follow Bill Williams, too? Yes, I think the sooner or later that you'll go to see Mrs. Welch wherever she is. And another thing, Mary. Another thing? Mm -hmm. If my plan works when I'm behind these whiskers, I'll soon be meeting Harrison's killer face to face. <laughs> Who is it? Bill, Sarah, open the door. Just a minute. Hello, Bill, darling. Sarah, are you crazy? What's the idea of leaving a house and hiding out in this dingy hall room? I wanted to get away from the police. I was sick and tired of questions. And those newspaper reporters, they're worse than the police. Questions, questions, questions. And questions require answers, don't they? Well, that's another reason I wanted to hide. I was afraid I'd slip up on an answer sometime. Not you. Well, I called you to tell you where I was, didn't I? Yes, and I'm here. Yes. Yeah. Sarah, you didn't say the wrong thing to the police. No. Never arrested Jack. You got nothing to be afraid of. I mean, of you in that case. I'm not so sure. You'd feel a lot safer if I didn't know so much about you, wouldn't you? I'll take my chances with you. Well, I'm not taking any chances with you, Bill. You might decide to kill me. Me, honey? Yeah, you, honey. Just because you know I killed Harrison, why, baby, you're in that as much as... You expecting anyone? Nobody knows I'm in this place except you. It's probably the landlady. Come in. Howdy. Here to plant for Mrs. Sarah Welch. You, Mrs. Welch? Plant for me? That's right. Nobody knows I'm here. Who? Bill. What is it, Sarah? Nobody knows I took this room except you. Bill, you're trying to have me killed. Sorry, you fool. Shut up. I won't shut up. You have somebody follow this messenger, and then when you leave and get yourself an alibi, somebody will come up and kill me. Sarah, don't be a dope. I wouldn't kill Not you. Not much you wouldn't. To kill Harrison and frame Jack so Jack wouldn't be in the way of your Stop job. It. Not because you wanted me. Stop it, will you? you're not going to kill me. You ought to have your head examined. Leave that now, gone. Sarah, listen to me. No. I didn't have to send a plan if I wanted you killed. I could have told somebody. Get your hands off of me. I'm getting out of here. Sarah. That plant idea was a good Sarah. thing. Sarah. when you killed Harrison, but it isn't going to work with me. Oh, shut up. It's stolen. Seems to me you ought to let Sarah. go, young fella. Sarah, you realize what you've done? You've spilled everything in front of this messenger. Oh, I don't care who knows you tried to kill me. Get out of my way, you. i got to get out of here. Nobody gets out of here. What? what? Sorry, Mrs. Welch. Nobody's leaving. Not just yet. What is this? Not until my friend Inspector Faraday gets here. And you, uh, just in case you are going to get any ideas, I'm not an old man. I'm Boston Blackie. I like you better with the beard. This thing was a trick. You followed me here, didn't you? How'd you get? Okay, Blackie. What you know will never do you any good. You're not leaving here. 
I'm gonna see to it. 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 After I repeat the conversation I heard in this room, Inspector Faraday will see to it that your bill is paid in full. Faraday, Matthews tells me you just gave your story on Harrison case to the newspapers. That's right. The reporters left just before you got here. And I mentioned your name, Blackie. Don't worry. I told them how you solved the case by posing as a messenger with a rubber plant. <laughs> Even I could have done it. What genius does it take to stand there and listen? Well, it didn't take genius, but it took patience. Patience? I knew the minute Mrs. Welsh saw that plant that my hunch was right, she and Williams had killed Harrison and tried to frame her husband. But I had to wait until I'd heard everything before I grabbed it. All right, it took patience. Do you want a medal because you have patience? No, but I think we ought to give Mrs. Welsh a medal for the most terrific case of hysterics of the year. When she thought she was being mocked for murder by her own idea, well, you know what happened. Yes, I know what happened. I suppose you'll never stop telling me. No. I'll tell you just one more thing, though. Yeah, well. Mrs. Welch used her head to spot Harrison for murder and lost her head when she thought she was marked for death. That little bit of irony put her behind iron bars. <laughs>